everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sinisha and this is Pipso Feature Highlights. Today we're going to talk about MyCred integration. MyCred is a huge plugin that allows you uh, to gamify your website by introducing points that are rewarded for user actions. So, for example, when user logs in or create an account and later on with Pipso integration, when a user create a post, uh, attach an image or do any action that the hooks for my cred allow then the points will be assigned so let me show you how to set all of that up as it is the practice with third-party integration in this video i'm not going to show you how to set up my cred this plugin is way too big to condense in five to ten minutes of uh, pips of feature highlight so if you want to learn how to set it up you can go to mycred.me and then here in this learn section find everything you need to know about setting up mycred you have getting started blog faqs tutorials documentation developer guides and everything you need in order to set this plugin up so i am not going to tell you or show how to set this plugin rather in this video we are going to focus on pipso integration with it the first thing we'll need in order for this integration to work is obviously mycred and we will obtain it by going into plugins add new and then search for mycred as you can tell, I already have this plugin active, but if you don't, you will simply click on install now and activate the plugin. All of the settings for it will be here in MyCred and points. MyCred are the settings for the plugin. Like I said in the intro of the video, we are not going to go through the setup of MyCred, but rather we are going to install pipso integration and discuss integration and all the integration options will be here in points and then hooks but first we need to install the integration plugin and we will do that by going to pipso installer wait for the license to be checked when it is scroll all the way down until you find my cred here in the, in integrations and First install it and then activate the plugin. Now we will have an option in Pipso configuration. Here in MyCred. However, there is only one option here. And just a few seconds ago, I said that all integration points will be here in points hooks and trust me they will be there for now we are just going to show my cred points history page and what will this do is provide additional tab on the profile page that shows the point history so let me quickly show you how that works if you go to your profile or any profile really and then go to the points you will find the points history because i haven't turned any points yet no log entries have been found. You can also see that points are displayed here in the profile, so you don't necessarily have to be on the... Let's go back to the stream and you will see that points are still displayed. If you want to hide this uh, option, you can go to your WordPress dashboard, then Pipso configuration, appearance. Here in appearance, scroll all the way down until you find the user points display or profile details okay so user points we can show it to public site members friend only only me or hide it completely if we choose hidden then obviously it won't be displayed to anyone it's gone okay and if we choose anything else it will respect the privacy of the website so if i want to show it only to friends i can do that to friends only now speaking of logs and points display 
I want to do one more thing before going into integration options, and that is I want to uh, show the number of points here in the widgets. So I'm going to go to Appearance and then Widgets. Choose the position where I want to display the widget. In my case, that will be right sidebar. So I'm going to press the plus icon and then look for my cred. And my balance is the widget I want. I'm going to include a history and show message when not logged in. And I'm also going to put this widget right on the top of my sidebar. So now, when I refresh the page, I will have this my balance is zero points widget over here. However, this my balance widget is not going to work in real time. I don't know why, because this is not the widget we created. It is the widget for my cred. And you will simply need to refresh the page in order to see the new balance when you earn new points. So how do you earn new points? I will happily provide the answer to that question too. Go to your WordPress dashboard, then points, hooks. Here in the hooks are all the hooks you can use for awarding the points, like creating the user account, logging in, uh, viewing content, publishing content, and so on. But the hooks we are mostly interested in are Pipso hooks. So we are going to add them like this, and then we can choose the actions that we want to award points for. Let's, for example, say points for new Pipso posts. I want to award 10 points over here, but also, I want to deduct 10 points for pipso post deletion and I'm going to say minus 10 points if you delete the post. Let's quickly save all of this. I'm going to come back to this option to this page to discuss all of these options more in depth. So if we go back to the community, you will see that I have zero points, but if I create a post and post it. Nothing is changed. Like I said, this widget is not real time, so I'll have to refresh the page. And now I will get the 10 points for this action. However, if I delete this post, I will get minus 10 points for deleting the post, and my balance is going to be zero. So, you know, I cannot exploit or uh, or uh, I get enough points when I create it and I get I get same number of points deducted when I delete it. So it's balanced in that way. But let's go back to the WordPress admin. Points, hooks and discuss all of the other options that we have here. As you can see, we have the options for new Pipso message, points for Pipso message deletion, new Pipso comment, comment deletion, likes, new Pipso friend, add new Pipso stream photo for deleting Pipso stream photos, and then for profile cover and avatar. And every single action have the counter action for deleting. So you can balance the number of points. And finally, there is this limit option for positive hooks or positive actions that will reward points. And they are basically a fail safe against exploiters who would like to exploit your systems in order to get points. For example, in this setup, someone could create 10 posts and earn 100 points. But you can say, each day, this hook can be triggered only two times. So not the maximum number of points, but how many times this particular hook can be triggered. So 
let's put that into practice. Let's save these settings. So points for new posts for new PIPSO posts will be awarded only two times a day. Let's test it. Go back to the community. Let's say this is my first post. Refresh the page to get new points. Okay. Let's say second post. Refresh the page to get the points. I got my points. Okay. And let's see what will happen when I try to make third post. Refresh the page. I didn't got any points. So exploiters cannot use this method to hack your system and get the points. Okay. So you can do this for all the positive actions for new pips message so whenever you reward the points you can say how many times a day week or month you want to reward this action for or you can even choose the total number of times so when someone let's say creates five new pips messages in in chat the system will simply stop awarding any more points. Okay, but we don't want to do that. I don't want to limit my users. Let's say no limit, but that's the option if you need it. And that is all I have for you in this episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media as well. All the links will be in the description below. Until the next video, I wish you all the best with your websites. Bye!